观众朋友们，大家好，今天是七月九号，星期四，欢迎收看《美国观察》。美国国务卿蓬佩奥星期三敦促中国当局释放因言获罪的前法学教授许章润。此外，蓬佩奥还批评中国在新冠疫情、香港还有新疆等方面的做法，并指中国在最近的中印冲突中咄咄逼人。来看报道，蓬佩奥星期三在国务院的记者会上开场就谴责中国当局拘押前清华大学法学教授许章润。并敦促中国尽快将其释放。As with all unelected communist regimes, Beijing fears its own people's free thinking more than any foreign foe. We were deeply troubled to learn this week that the CCP detained Xu Jianren for criticizing General Secretary Xi Jinping's repressive regime and the CCP's mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic. He should be released. He was simply telling the truth. He should be released as soon as possible. Pompeo in the press conference again criticized the Chinese Communist Party for not reporting on the situation of the COVID-19 pandemic and hiding the truth, causing over 10 million deaths in the world. He called on the World Health Organization to investigate the origin of the COVID-19 pandemic, but emphasized that the investigation must not be just for political reasons. Pompeo also criticized the Chinese Communist Party for not reporting on the COVID-19 pandemic and hiding the truth, causing over 10 million deaths in the world. 他对谷歌、脸书和推特公司拒绝向港府提供用户数据表示赞赏。除此之外，蓬佩奥还指责中国在最近的中印边界冲突中咄咄逼人。在那场冲突中，印方二十名军人丧生，中方未公布伤亡人数。The Chinese took incredibly aggressive action. The Indians have done their best to respond to that. I put this in the context of General Secretary Xi Jinping and his behavior. Throughout the region and indeed throughout the world, from the mountain ranges of the Himalayas to the waters of Vietnam's exclusive zone, to the Senkaku Islands and beyond, Beijing has a pattern of instigating territorial disputes. The world shouldn't allow this bullying to take place, nor should it permit it to continue. Pompeo 表示，来自中国的新冠病毒让人们看到了中国共产党的本质。全世界热爱民主自由的人们应当联合起来，共同应对中国威胁。美国之音新闻报道：美国周二表示，中国持续阻扰美国前往西藏，造成双边待遇不平等，因此将对中国的相关官员施加签证限制。美国国务卿蓬佩奥在一份声明中表示，不幸的是，北京持续系统性的阻止美国外交官和其他官员、记者以及游客前往西藏自治区和藏区的其他地区，而中国政府官员和其他公民则享有更多进入美国的机会。蓬佩奥将签证限制针对实质性参与将外国人排除在西藏地区之外的中国官员。随着美中两国紧张关系升级，美国越来越多的使用签证制裁手段。此前的签证限制涉及北京在香港推出国安法，以及中共对约一百万维吾尔族还有其他穆斯林的监禁。周二的制裁是依据美国2018年生效的《西藏对等旅行法》。这项法案旨在支持西藏人民的人权和宗教自由。人权组织说，藏人生活在严格的监视之下，任何人如果显示出不拥护中共的迹象，都有可能受到威胁或者是监禁，包括拥有藏族流亡的精神领袖达赖喇嘛的画像。自2008年西藏发生一系列自焚抗议事件以来，北京一直禁止外国记者访问西藏，也未回应美国要求在拉萨设立领事馆的要求。特朗普总统说，如果对朝鲜半岛局势有帮助的话，他愿意再见金正恩，并且再度强调他跟金正恩的交情。美国的朝鲜核武特使表示，他遵照特朗普与金正恩两人达成的愿景。下面请看美国之音白宫记者黄耀义的报道。在美国时间星期二七月八号的中午呢，美国的国安顾问奥布莱恩在这个白宫当中接受了记者的提问，问到了关于香港国安法的问题。那么呢，他的回答则是说，因为这个北京在香港实施国安法。接下来，美国将会针对此出台许多相关措施。那么，这个阿布莱恩并且说呢，中国将会利用这部法律，把中共的意志强加在追求自由民主的香港头上。中共更利用了经济筹码，如当 NBA 的经理在推特上支持香港反送中的运动。
，中共就取消了 NBA 的赛事转播。那么呢，这是白宫的国安顾问针对北京在香港实施国安法，做出美国政府最新的回应。他并且强调呢，接下来会出台。更多的相关措施。那么同时呢，我们也知道，特朗普总统与朝鲜最高领导人金正恩过去曾经有三次的见面。在第一次是二零一八年六月十二号在新加坡的峰会，两人签署了一份文件。那么在二零一九年二月二十七号到二十八号呢，在越南的河内举办的二度峰会却是不欢而散。二零一九年六月三十号，特朗普总统亲自前往韩朝非军事区会见金正恩，并且成为第一位跨越三八度线的美国总统。之后，两国的谈判就停滞了下来。那朝鲜方面呢，还是继续试射导弹。那之前受到注目的美国跟日本人质问题也没有下文。那么现在，特朗普总统呢，在星期二七月八号接受了这个美国军事特约的记者，同时也有自己的电视节目记者格雷塔·萨斯特伦的访问的时候呢，特朗普总统表示，他说：“我知道他们朝鲜想要会面，我们当然会见面。如果对局势有帮助的话，我会那样做。”那特朗普总统接下来强调呢，他说：“我跟他金正恩有很好的关系，所以呢，可能对局势会有帮助。”那么对此呢，美国副国务卿也同时呢，也是朝鲜问题的特使比根，现在正在韩国访问。那么比根呢，也针对现在的这个美国、朝鲜跟韩国的局势啊，做出了说法。我们来看一下比根在韩国是怎么说的。I also want to be very clear on one point. I do not take my direction from Vice Minister Choi Sun Hui, and nor for that matter do I take it from Ambassador John Bolton. I take my guidance. From the conclusions of the several meetings that President Trump and Chairman Kim have had over the last two years, their vision is what guides our team—a focus on creating a more durable peace on the Korean Peninsula, transformed relations on the Korean Peninsula, the elimination of nuclear weapons on the Korean Peninsula, and a brighter future for the Korean people. When Chairman Kim appoints a counterpart to me, who is prepared and empowered. To negotiate on these issues, they will find us ready at that very moment.、Uh, we look forward to continuing our work for a peace,、uh, peaceful outcome on the Korean Peninsula. I believe this is very much possible. President Trump has given us his full support to continue this effort. 那么七月初的时候呢，韩国总统文在寅他曾经说过，他说希望在美国的十一月呃总统大选之前能能够看到特朗普总统与金正恩再次的会面。不过对此呢，呃，在七月四号的时候，朝鲜外务省的美国局副局长崔善基他说，美国只是把朝美对话视为处理国内政治危机的工具。不会为特朗普连任重新返回对话桌。现阶段，朝鲜无意再跟美国谈判，也无意再举办两国领导人的峰会。那么之后呢？朝鲜外务省的北美事务局局长全正根也再度的强调，明确的来说，朝鲜没有和美国进行谈判的意愿。那么对于韩国总统文在寅试图要协调呢？美国国务院副国务卿，同时也是美国的朝鲜特使比根表示，美国强力支持两韩的合作，相信那将会为朝鲜半岛创造稳定的环。环境，美国呢也会全力支持韩国政府与朝鲜一起推动两韩关系。以上是美国之音白宫记者黄洋毅的报道。港区国安法不仅让外界担忧香港民主法治的前景，也让商界人士担忧香港能否保持稳定、自由的金融中心地位。两位美国学者表达了不同的观点。一位是耶鲁大学资深研究员、前摩根士丹利首席经济学家、亚洲区主席史蒂芬·罗奇。另外一位是传统基金会国际贸易与经济中心主任、美国前驻联合国大使特里米勒。北京实施港区国安法，这不仅引发了外界对于香港自由与法治的担忧，香港作为全球金融与商业中心的地位也受到挑战。有关国安法将给香港的商业环境造成多大的影响，两位深谙国际经济事务的学者对此也持有不尽相同的观点。No one really knows、uh, how bad this could be, but any time there's that element of risk,、uh, businesses are very risk averse, and that's going to make people think、uh, twice about traveling to Hong Kong, about investing in Hong Kong. Companies that have major operations in Hong Kong are going to have to rethink what their、uh, presence is in the city. Uh, this all will have a negative consequence, no matter how the law is interpreted. Does it change the、um, uh, the institutional structures of the financial system? No. Does it change、uh, 
the currency peg? No. Does it change the structure of Hong Kong security markets? No. Does it have an impact on personal freedom of demonstrators? Uh, yes. Uh, but was that um, manifestation of personal freedom uh, creating uh, potential spillovers into the stability uh, of the region as a financial hub? The, the jury's out on that. It, it may well have been doing it. The new national security law being imposed by Beijing is a very unfortunate but visible manifestation of what had to give. 2009年6月爆發的反送中大規模抗議持續了數個月的時間,今天香港民眾提出的主要訴求並沒有得到滿足,而北京的進一步介入讓學者開始憂慮,一國兩制下香港特別行政區自由獨立的地位將不復存在,
英国还对二十名沙特公民实施了制裁，他们被控残忍谋杀了为《华盛顿邮报》撰稿的沙特新闻记者卡舒吉。进一步的制裁措施会瞄准缅甸和朝鲜的官员。在中国实施了港版国安法之后，一些英国议员呼吁将香港特首林郑月娥加入制裁名单。批评者说，这部法律侵犯了包括言论自由在内的基本人权。China is probably the prime. Example of a human rights abuser that should have people sanctioned. They should be stung for what they've done to the Uyghur population for what they're doing in Hong Kong. 美国和加拿大已经出台了马格尼茨基式的问责法案。欧盟也在努力制定自己的相关法案。If the EU is not involved, then these people will buy villas in the south of France. They'll keep their money in German banks, and they'll send their kids to Swiss boarding schools. And so we need to get Europe on board. 英国表示决心担当新的角色，成为全球人权的灯塔。分析人士说，这些措施将考验英国在欧盟之外的影响力。美国之音记者李奇威尔，伦敦报道。星期二，在白宫举行的一系列活动中，特朗普政府敦促学校重新开放。在新罕布什尔州，一所学校使用滑雪缆车举行毕业典礼，以帮助保持社交距离。这是美国学校在新冠疫情期间采取的创造性措施之一。但在这种环境下，美国学校的新学年可能很快会重新开放。特朗普总统要求八月或九月学校按时开放校园。We're very much going to put pressure on governors and everybody else to open the schools. Trump 总统十月份竞选连任，学校是总统恢复其正常经济职能宏大计划的一部分。孩子回到学校就可以让父母返回工作场所。新冠疫情发生后，美国有超过五千万儿童暑假前都在网上上课。美国儿科学会建议孩子们以某种形式返回学校，以防止他们落下学业。这一建议得到了传染病专家的支持。Most of us agree that we have to open up our schools again this fall, but we'll see exactly how to do it. Doing it carefully is very important. 但是，根据美国企业研究所的一项研究，只有百分之二十的父母对孩子返校感到安全。共和党父母感觉安全的可能性是民主党人的两倍。联邦和州官员关于口罩等混杂的预防措施信息，增加父母的焦虑。Reopening of schools isn't just purely a decision that's made by governors and superintendents and principals and teachers. It's a decision that parents have to participate in as well. They have to trust that、uh, the schools are putting in place. Uh, the protections that are going to keep their kids safe. And the problem is when you have conflicting guidance. Uh, it, it creates this untenable situation for parents to try to make a decision、uh, with, with varying types of, of, of conflicting guidance on、uh, whether or not、uh, a school should do X, Y, or Z. 尽管新冠病毒很少导致儿童患病，
。但令人担忧的是，孩子们可能像感染流感一样，把病毒传给家庭成员。We don't know that yet about the COVID virus. Does it really infect the children, and they can transmit it, or is it very difficult for this virus to infect children? Those studies are still underway. 除了政府四月份分配的一百三十亿美元以帮助学校和大学转向网课学习外，目前尚不清楚联邦政府是否计划提供额外的资金，让学校安全的重新开放。美国之音维达库斯瓦拉的报道。受到新冠疫情的影响，在美国的中国留学生们注定要经历不一样的毕业典礼。我们一起去看一看。张逸晨从华盛顿爱默生毕业学校毕业时，在班上名列前茅，但新冠病毒的封锁措施剥夺了他作为高中生青少年的传统体验，像参加毕业舞会以及发表毕业生致辞。取而代之的是，张逸晨放了一段毕业生致辞代表的视频，让亲友看到游泳池畔的毕业典礼和地下室的舞会。但视频里的他和十六岁时来美国既害怕又害羞的他不可同日而语。张逸晨说：“他以为自己必须完美，做一个成绩全 A 的学生和每一个社团的领袖。” I constantly felt I had to chase behind that expectation to be that person that people expect in their minds. 张逸晨的寄宿家庭热情地接纳了他，他成为他们的生活和世界里的一份子。Once he had a comfort level,、uh, we got a real taste of his personality. He liked us, and we liked him. 尽管张逸晨发现可以通过歌唱来自我表达，但他说他仍然感到压力，要通宵达旦的学习，以取得完美的成绩。And with that mentality, I really struggled for a while,、uh, both mentally and physically. 斯特姆家人和张逸晨在爱默生学校的老师都敦促他要减少学习时间。That really opened me up to a completely new different path. That you know I can actually nourish my mind. And enriched my life with so many other、um, things and options. When the graduation ceremony was canceled, the Stern family set up a traditional ceremony in their basement. His wife came from Boston to see him. She said she was very excited to see him. 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 She was very We crowned them as prom king and queen. It was an all-night affair. 今年九月，斯特姆一家计划收拾行李，开车带张逸晨去明尼苏达州开始上大学，就像他们为其他孩子所做的一样。美国之音记者贝尼托报道。在世界各地妇女逐渐适应远程工作的同时，许多人发现，在家里上班的时候穿什么，成为了一个新的挑战。So today, I thought I would introduce you to four scarves that I have in the color green. 纺织品设计师马蒂娜·谢斯塔克娃注意到，自从新冠病毒爆发以来，她的彩色围巾销量激增。Recently, one of my clients purchased a scarf, and the customer said, "I really, really need this in my life right now. I am an art teacher. I cannot be with the children in the classroom. They are now watching me on the screen. How do I make myself feel good?" And how do I kind of, you know, draw attention to myself? So she picked this bright pink scarf, and then the following day she said, "I got so many compliments, and I have felt good, so it's working." In her customer Marie Sijins' hands, this also showed up. Every Zoom meeting that I have, I'll put on earrings, I'll put on a scarf and a necklace, and it just is something that makes me feel more professional. Ranking style is a website website. 他介绍时尚、美容和生活方式范畴最佳前十名产品。首席产品和营销官贝森泽德奇说：“舒适服的销量激增。” Surprisingly, the biggest trend has actually been in bottoms, 
which you wouldn't think with so many people being focused on Zoom meetings. But I think people are needing something that's comfortable enough to work from home in, but also something that feels a little bit elevated. 具体的说，慢跑裤、紧身裤和牛仔短裤。That's been a very surprising one. Major, major increase over 200% over last year. 名曲公司是一家高档妇女时装品牌，主要以名贵的睡衣和内衣而出名。据该公司总裁肯明曲表示，他们的在线销售一直强劲。But we've certainly seen with COVID, you know, a lot more of an appreciation for,、um, you know, loungewear and sleepwear that makes women feel special. And so, you know, our our online business has、uh, has benefited accordingly. 由于大流行病，一些州在封锁几个月后正在缓慢的重新开放。贝斯则得其说，这种转变还没有反映在消费者的行为上。They're not looking for that super trendy top or cocktail dress.、Um, so we're still seeing these trends continue into the summer. 在那之前，职业妇女可继续穿着让她们感到舒适的衣服，并采用简单的配饰来改善外观。美国之音记者塔博报道：美国能源部的阿贡国家实验室历来被看作是重要的核研究中心，但是今天在芝加哥郊区的这个实验室有一个重要的任务，那就是用世界上最先进的技术来对抗新冠病毒。像先进电子源这种巨大的机器，需要一栋高大的建筑来容纳它。光子源也叫 APS， 它让阿贡国家实验室的研究人员可以对与新冠病毒做斗争的前沿战斗明察秋毫。The APS is,、uh, you can think of it as a X-ray microscope. What we do is we produce extremely bright X-rays with a central facility that then is fed to a number of different X-ray beam lines where our researchers actually do their work. 研究的目的是帮助科学界尽快获得有效的新冠疫苗和治疗新冠病人的药物。为此，斯蒂芬·斯特里弗和数百人的团队正在使用 APS 解码新冠病毒蛋白。Those proteins are what makes the virus function, and if we can interrupt the function of those proteins, then we can create drugs that can treat the、uh, the infection. 斯特里弗说，阿贡实验室的工作是竞争前技术。他们发现的东西可供致力于研发疫苗和其他药物的广大医学界使用。We're interfacing with both a number of pharmaceutical companies, but also the broader research community, so this information is open to all. 在这次疫情大流行当中，先进光子源仅是阿贡武器库中的一种，另一种是世界上功能最强大的超级计算机之一——西塔。What we can do with the supercomputers is we can screen four billion drug compounds to see if they have any effect on the virus. And do that in a matter of weeks.、Uh, to do that without the supercomputers would literally take you years. 在西塔进行这些计算的同时，计算机建模人员也在使用这一机器来预测新冠病毒的传播。So for the city of Chicago, what our modelers have done is、uh, essentially created、um, a computer simulation with、uh, individual entities in that computer simulation that represent individual people in Chicago. Just representations, not real people, not real attributes. Where, for a given set of assumptions, we project what the future.、Uh, Would be for the progression of of COVID-19. 高级系统工程师查尔斯·马卡尔说，西塔提供的详细信息强调了每个人都可以采取的简单而高效的措施来遏制病毒传播的重要性。Uh, the single most important thing that we've identified is the importance of people to adhere to protective behaviors, things like wearing masks, social distancing. Washing hands. 阿贡国家实验室的斯蒂芬·斯特里弗表示，他们的研究已经帮助伊利诺伊州的决策者决定了何时进行限制以及如何安全地重新开放本州的经济。So we're providing information directly to the governor's task force. We're also working very closely with the city of Chicago as one of our major partners, so that they're using that information to develop policies that、uh, we hope will help and get us back to a state where we're doing the right things to keep people safe. But doing in a way which is minimally disruptive to the economy. 虽然阿贡国家实验室目前专注于伊利诺伊州，但也在开发将模型应用到其他城市和地区的能力，包括那些目前新冠病例数又急剧增加的城市和地区。美国之音记者法拉报，伊利诺伊芝加哥报道。好的，以上就是今天美国观察的全部内容。感谢您的收看，我们明天节目再见。